principles and processes in biotechnology to study this chapter first important definitions must be known first one biotechnology is a field of biology as well as industry in which micro organisms and processes are used to obtain desirable products so biotechnology is a field uh, in which microorganisms are used to obtain desirable product desirable products now recombinant dna is an artificial dna constructed constructed using dna from different sources that is foreign desirable dna plus host dna now coming to gene cloning what is gene cloning is the process of making exact copy of a or of one or more than one gene or genes now origin of replication is the sequence in dna template which is recognized by dna polymerase and so it is the sequence in dna template which is recognized uh, by dna polymerase to start dna replication now restriction enzymes also called molecular scissors why because these are enzymes biocatalysts which cut dna sequence at at a specific site that is why they are called restriction enzymes now these enzymes are basically of two types those are exonucleases and endonucleases cut dna these enzymes cut dna at either five prime or at three prime end endonucleases cut dna in between five prime and 
3 prime 3 prime and at a specific side now recognition side is the specific base sequence in nucleic acids which is recognized and then cut, cut then broken down then cut it's better to say cut by restriction enzymes so just one mistake I've done which cut here it is which cut nucleic acid which cut both nucleic acids DNA or RNA uh, in between specific sequence now coming to palindromic nucleotide sequence is the base sequence in nucleic acids which can be read same from either 5 prime to 3 prime and or 3 prime to 5 prime and from both the sides example I'll show the example later now coming to plasmid Plasmid is autonomously replicating circular single stranded extra chromosomal DNA which have specific properties with specific properties one more is vector vector is carrier in this topic vector is carrier of DNA fragment from DNA fragment that's all now example of palindromic nucleotide sequence as I told example it's G A A T T C 
so the next trend is C C T T A A G so if you read from this side just a moment if you read from this side or if you read from this side opposite one both read same so if I just add this one is 5 prime then this one is 3 prime this one is 3 prime and so here this one is 3 prime and this one is 5 prime so both ways it read same palindromic nucleotide sequence as we know palindromic sequence in uh, English that is Malayalam if you read from left side or if you read from right side both ways same now coming to discussion about restriction endonucleases restriction endonucleases what all to discuss restriction endonucleases for uh, it is basically um, obtained from recognition sequence I told mm, uh, restriction endonucleases uh, first the one isolated uh, is eco R1 mm, this one eco R1 and still now several uh, isolated um, hind 2 more than 900 restriction isol uh, enzymes have uh, isolated from over 230 strains of bacteria each of which recognize different recognition sequence each and every um, restriction endonuclease has specific recognition sequence now naming naming of restriction endonuclease naming how uh, those are named for example if we take the name eco r1 eco r1 so the first one first first letter stands for genus name of of a bacterium that is here that is Escherichia Now second letter stands for second two letters second two letters stands for species name here we know it is coli it is coli third third letter stands for specific character here it is rough R for rough special property or specific character fourth fourth Roman letter or Roman number stands 
therefore number uh, means order of isolation indicate uh, the order in which the enzyme were isolated from that strain of bacteria so order of isolation 